This tutorial is for creating standalone content mods for Pavlov VR. It is not for creating maps. If you're interested in creating maps, I've already made a tutorial for that which will be linked in the pinned comment. I strongly suggest watching that tutorial before this one, as much of the information shown in that video still applies to this. This tutorial is compatible with both the PC and Shack versions of Pavlov. I suggest watching the entirety of this video and reading the pinned comment before giving this a go yourself. Content mods are used primarily for sharing custom guns, items, vehicles and player models, but can also be used to share assets between multiple maps. To create a mod, go to the Pavlov Workshop tab, Create Mod, select Mod, then enter the name of the description and hit Create. Unlike maps, the mod's name and thumbnail are set only on the mod.io page, not inside the mod kit. To have a map's assets as a separate mod, literally just put the map's assets into a mod UGC, then set the mod as a dependency of the map on the mod.io page. All assets inside a mod's UGC will be uploaded to mod.io. Doing this is fairly easy and self-explanatory. The benefit of doing this is that you can update the map and its lighting separate to the meshes, meaning players won't need to re-download every single asset every time you want to edit just a few aspects of your map. Despite this, many people will just see a high number of dependencies being downloaded and move on to a different server, even though the download size may be the same if not smaller. The mod kit does not provide examples for the mod initializer. You are expected to make one from scratch. To make this process easier, we will be using code from another modder by the name of Darkat. Go to the Pavlov Workshop tab, select Download Source Plugin, and search for Darkat. Then add Source Darkat 26 to your project. After downloading the UGC, you will need to restart Unreal Engine. After restarting, you will see there's a new UGC in your plugins folder. Do not edit anything in this UGC. To make things clearer, I will be colouring this folder green so we know it's the example UGC we have downloaded. In this new UGC, you will want to select Add to List Component, CMP underscore Spawn Actors and Components on Players, and Mod Initializer underscore. With these selected, drag them over the UGC you have created and click Advanced Copy here. This will copy all three selected items whilst retaining their references to one another. You must click Advanced Copy and not just Copy. Immediately after doing this, I'd suggest fixing up redirects on your UGC, then saving. Open the definition in your UGC and set the initializer to the one you just copied over. Make sure it's the copy you made and not the original from the example folder. Feel free to rename your mod initializer if that makes it easier for you. Any custom code you want in your mod will be added to the initializer. This could include almost anything. I will not be covering that in this video as I'm not too familiar with coding myself. You can add custom guns, player models, vehicles and items by selecting the add to list component and scrolling down to add to list. You can click the plus symbol to add an additional item to the list. As this tutorial is for general usage of content mods and not for a specific type of content mod, I will not be covering any of these things listed here in this video. I will link several related mod.io guides in the pinned comment. To edit the stats of an existing vanilla or modded gun, you will want to drag out from on mod initialized and search for update equipment details. Then, you will need to right click on equipment details and select split struck pin. Set the equipment details gun name to the ID of the gun you want to modify, then edit the stats how you wish. Make sure to leave the class as empty. If you want to edit gun stats map side rather than in a mod, then you would need to drag this node out from begin play in the game logic. This works with any and all vanilla or modded guns. To use a content mod, you will need to add it as a dependency of your map or run it server side. To add a mod as a dependency of your map, go to Content and click Manage on your map. Go to Dependencies, 
then copy and paste the exact name of your mod and when it appears, click save. You will only be able to add your mod as a dependency if it is set to public. Please note that if any dependent mods are not set to public, the map will fail to load entirely. This is also the case if the mod does not support your version of Pavlo. To know what version a mod supports, look at Download Files Manually. If you see Linux and Windows, then the mod supports Pavlo on PC. If you see Mac and Oculus, then the mod supports Pavlov Shack. Source means that the mod creator has chosen to share their project files publicly. It should also be mentioned that a mod is able to be a dependency of another mod, and a map can be a dependency of a mod. This concludes my tutorial for creating and using content mods. If you found this video helpful, a subscription would be appreciated.